If you have ever experienced tractor power hop during field work, you know it can be a real pain. Not only does it make for a punishing ride, power hop lowers your tractor's efficiency and can cost you precious time. Hi, I'm Sky with NTS Tire Supply. In this video, we'll show you how you can fix power hop on four wheel drive and mechanical front wheel drive tractors. We're also going to share some tips for choosing the tires that can help prevent power hop from becoming an issue in the first place. When farmers are dealing with power hop, the typical quick fix is to drop down the gear and work slower, or lift your implement out of the ground a bit so it pulls easier. But no one wants to work slower or perform poor quality field work. Fixing power hop the right way can be time consuming. However, because power hop is potentially dangerous and hard on your bottom line, you'll want to take the time to address it correctly. Why does your tractor hop under load in the first place? This pitching motion develops as the sidewalls of your tires flex and recoil as they gain and lose traction on the load. Power hop occurs most often in dry soil conditions or when working in loose, dry soil with a hard pack underneath. Pulling up hills and working at or near your tractor's maximum pulling capacity will also make power hop more likely. Fixing power hop comes down to finding the right tire pressure, total tractor weight, and weight distribution. Here is a step-by-step -step procedure we use to fix power hop. If you're working with a four-wheel drive tractor, you'll first need to ballast your tractor so that it weighs between 95 and 110 pounds per engine horsepower. Next, make sure the weight is distributed between 51 and 55% across the front axle and 45 to 49% across the rear axle. You may need to add or remove suitcase or wheel weights if your tractor wasn't set up this way from factory. If you can't add iron weights to the rear of the tractor to achieve the optimal weight distribution, you can add liquid ballast to your rear tires and fill all to the maximum of 38% with the valve stem at the four or eight o'clock position. At the same time, you want to inflate your front and rear tires to the minimum pressure needed for your load and pulling conditions. Some tire manufacturers have online inflation calculators you can use to calculate your ideal tire pressure. After you've properly inflated your tires and checked your tractor's weight and balance, test the tractor in the field for power hop. If these steps have fixed the problem, you're good to go. If you are still experiencing power hop, you'll need to start adding air to your rear tires. When we send a service truck to help a farmer correct power hop, we add air in increments of two PSI and then retest. However, this may be impractical for you, so go in increments of six PSI to save a little time. If the increase in air pressure in the rear tires hasn't fixed your power hop problem, you can add an additional six PSI and retest again. If necessary, you can continue increasing the pressure in six pound increments until you reach your maximum PSI listed on the tire sidewall. If you've gone through these steps and are still experiencing issues, then call NTS Tire Supply for further assistance. The procedure to set up the mechanical front wheel drive tractor is similar to the four wheel drive method. For mechanical front wheel drive tractors, you want your tractor to weigh between 130 and 140 pounds per PTO horsepower. And you want to make sure the weight is distributed between 30 to 35% across the front axle and 65 to 70% across the rear axle. At the same time, you'll want to inflate your tires to the minimum pressure appropriate for your load and pulling conditions. After you've properly inflated your tires and checked your tractor's weight and balance, test the tractor in the field. If these steps have fixed the problem, you're good to go. If not, the next step is to inflate the rear tires in increments of six PSI and retest again. If this still doesn't help you Try removing the tractor's front ballast weights and retest. If this fails and you still experience power hop, add liquid ballast to front tires. Fill to around 75% with the valve stem in the 12 o'clock position. 
This will stiffen the tire and help absorb some of the pitching motion while keeping your power to the ground. If you need to use liquid ballast in your tires to tame power hop, we recommend BioBallast by EnviroTech Services, the sponsor of this video. In addition to helping fix power hop, BioBallast can be a great choice for improving the stability and handling of the equipment on your farm, such as in loader tires and the rear of combine tires. BioBallast is a non-corrosive alternative to calcium chloride and our number one choice for farmers who need liquid tire ballast. If you've ever used calcium chloride, you know how it can damage your wheels and valve stems. BioBallast, on the other hand, coats the inside of your tire and wheels to prevent rust and rim failure. It's simple to use and effective for both tube and tubeless tires. It doesn't foam when pumped or thicken in colder temperatures. BioBallast remains slush free down to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also biodegradable, non-flammable, and water soluble for easy cleanup if you happen to spill. You can learn more about BioBallast and other EnviroTech products at envirotechservices.com. Now back to fixing power hop. Whether you operate a four wheel drive or a mechanical front wheel drive tractor, here are a couple power hop fighting strategies you should keep in mind. First, always order or equip your tractor with the right size tires for the machine and job. Avoid tires that are too small or too big. Yes, tires can be too big. You'll need to find a balance between weight and tire size to create a long footprint. Longer is better than wider. You should have tires that maximize your footprint while exerting enough downward force on the soil to get the most traction possible. Tires that are too small will increase compaction and have less traction due to smaller footprint. Getting the right tires can help boost your yields and drive your fuel bill lower at the same time. If your tractor suffers from severe power hop, you may need to consider switching over to a low sidewall or LSW tire to help reduce power hop. These tires have the advantage of a shorter, stiffer sidewall, which give you a more stable rolling circumference. However, even with LSWs, you may still need to employ some of the strategies we've outlined in this video to control power hop. LSWs are not a replacement for having the correct weight distribution and air pressure. Invest the time now to fix power hop the correct way and avoid unnecessary frustration and wasted time in the field. The best farmers we work with make sure their tractors weight and tire pressure are set to optimal levels before entering the fields, which help them get across more acres each day while burning less fuel. If the instructions in this video haven't fixed your power hop problems, or if you need help choosing the best tires for your tractor, talk with one of our tire experts at NTS Tire Supply. We offer on-site farm tire service for a wide range of performance issues, including power hop. We hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any farm tire, track, or wheel needs in the future, please call us and talk with one of our experts at NTS Tire Supply. We will provide you with the right tires and wheels to drive your farm forward. <laughs>